by time. Indeed, mankind is in loss. Except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. إن الحمد لله نحمد ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤذ بالله من شر أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يدله فلا مدلل ومجدل فلا هدي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الناس سوت تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء وتقوا الله الذي تسلون به والارham ان لها كان عليكم راكبا Assalamu alaikum Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin Rahman ar-Rahim Maliki yawmiddin Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in Ihdina as-siratal mustaqim Siratal ladhina an'amta 'alayhim Ghayril maghdubi 'alayhim waladdallin Nafsuluji is the Quranic systematic study of the continuing process of spiritual animation and transpersonal existence. In Arabic it may have been in the past referred to as Imul Nafs and it includes the holistic psycho-behavioral maintenance of the aware conscience using palliative care to reduce the effects of uh, related uh, nosology or spiritually uh, related uh, disease disorders. It's very important that we understand uh, nafsology from the uh, correct perspective as it was revealed in the Quran and explained by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as espoused uh, in accordance with our scholasticism as we find it. Uh, existing in the annals of Islamic, uh, we'll call it uh, study of, of the nafs or ilm al nafs, which has uh, traditionally been the system that uh, one examined in Islamic sciences to uh, understand uh, this particular subject. But nafsulogy uh, proposes, my nafsulogy proposes. Uh, a wider, broader spectrum that includes medical and uh, mental health consequences, behaviors, thinking, you know. So it is uh, more of an umbrella that encompasses the whole of the Islamic behavioral health spectrum as it emanates from the Quranic ayats. Walasa in al insana la fikusa. May Allah bless uh, the Prophet and his family and all the companions and all those rightly guided. Uh, in this system, we have, in these ayats, we have the basis of what we call uh, jihad and nafs, the struggle with oneself. Uh, to have faith, do righteous deeds, uh, to learn and to maintain and persevere in that discipline. These are the four steps that are quite known uh, in the traditional study of Imam Nafs, and this is considered to be the Jihad al-Akbar. This is the great jihad that one must fight 
one against himself. Okay. So, but here is where nafsulogy begins to uh, broaden. Uh, first of all, we know that it is necessary in order to Islamicize uh, Western psychology and not fit Islam inside of psychology, but rather Islamicize uh, Western psychology to make it palatable and useful for the Muslim is necessary uh, and for us to properly understand the subject using a modern approach. It is um, most effective if we benefit from all the uh, 2,000 years of research or rather the 1,000 years of research that precede um, what I would consider to be the disconnect in Islamic psychology in its medieval uh, periods as early as uh, the year 1000 or 1100 uh, there was great debates and um, there's almost an abandonment of this particular science uh, or misunderstanding thereof so let me just quickly add that uh, what makes nafsology different than ilm nafs as it's studied in the classical madrasa by imams is that this has uh, included mental health knowledge and behavioral health knowledge and uh, knowledge of psychological principles that don't uh, have any vetting in Islam nor are well known in Islam so what we're doing is we're taking uh, the good wherever we find it which is Islam or Islamic to do so when we look at this situation of spiritual disease disorder we're talking about diseases of the heart and the major systemic engine or the crucible of the human spirit the nafs is in fact the spiritual kalb or kulub with it we can adjust ourselves and our reality we're told that Allah will not change a person's or people's condition or population's condition until they change their hearts so those whom Allah has blessed will remain in a state of grace as long as they keep their hearts clean and vice versa uh, you know we would find uh, would be the case and of course it's uh, clear that we can change our reality by changing what's in us just as much as a pebble thrown into a pond changes the entire lake as each ripple reverberates it affects everything in the pond I don't care if it's a grain of sand thrown into the desert the desert is changed and that's a fact so just impacting uh, the system with any amount of change disrupts its path and places it in another possibility of events and this systemic awareness of the heart has to be understood through the perceptions that uh, the heart uses to know reality when I say uh, those perceptions or those organs which communicate to the heart we're talking about the, the, the five senses you know the the nervous system uh, through the skin and the eyes the nose it's smelling of uh, the environment uh, the five senses taste and so forth seeing so we know that the heart is connected to the eyes as much as the ears uh, and we know that the tongue uh, spews forth the fruit of the heart and that the tongue and, and the voice that results is in fact the work of the heart and as much as is truthful or false or hypocritical or plagued with some other type of spiritual disease and in fact yes hypocrisy is a spiritual disease in as much as lying and alcoholism in Islam under our Quranic systemic uh, 
Natsunaji model, uh, these things are all spiritual diseases and disorders, which can be remediated with the appropriate uh, work and remediation and Tobito Nasiya. Sincere repentance is pretty much uh, the methodology, uh, but there are other conditions like Imsak, stopping the act is a necessary part of being in a state of uh, sincerity about uh, sobriety when it comes to substance use disorders and addiction. This can be said along with gambling disorders, which are two of the shaitan's hammers, which often have plagued our populations. Alcohol and gambling are systemically uh, related. Uh, one is usually used to uh, to self-medicate from trauma, and the other is a incidents where it preys on the manic and, uh, uh, and those subject to obsession and compulsive behaviors. And therefore, uh, these two things are similar: uh, addiction and gambling. And this is why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala placed both things in the same verse when He outlawed them. He did not law just alcohol. If a law didn't uh, create us, he wouldn't have known us so well. See, so this is proof, furthermore, in the Quran, that the Maker of us understood our makeup so much so that when alcohol and intoxicants were uh, made illegal or haram, so were uh, all forms of gambling because of the intricate relationship and nexus between the two complexes. This shows you an, an, a divine agency in just the revelation of this particular verse. Crisis Recovery Network, saving one soul at a time. Crisis Recovery Network, saving one soul at a time.